things Randy at randyrhodes.com. Go, go for launch. Speaking truth to power, the Randy Rhodes Show. He's not a victim here. He was totally wrong uh, that he had the right to have those documents. Those documents are among the most sensitive secrets that the country has. He, they have to be in the custody of the archivist. He had no right to maintain them and ret- retain them. And he kept them uh, in a way uh, at Mar-a-Lago that anyone who really cares about national security, would, their stomach would churn at hmm. it. So you see this as different and separate from what he would term the Russian hoax, um, course, what we yes. saw from the Durham report. You see these as two totally separate tracks. Yes, because in the Russia, there was nothing. There, there, there was no problem or issue underlying the Russia Gate claim. It was an effort to knock him out with a false claim. Huh. Here, I think the government acted responsibly. They gave him every opportunity to return those documents. They acted with restraint. They were very deferential to him, and they were very patient. They talked to him for almost a year to try to get those documents, and he jerked them around. They finally went to a subpoena, and what did he do? According to the government, he lied and obstructed that subpoena. And then they did a search, and they found a lot more documents. And they're not even, I don't think they're even sure now whether they have everything. So they acted in a very patient way, and, and what were they were met with was, according to the government and the, and the indictment, very egregious obstruction. Now, isn't that fascinating that Bill Barr, who knows that Donald Trump obstructed justice in the Mueller investigation 10 different times, but was the attorney general of the United States and decided that that particular perch gave him the right to act in a political way and to represent not the people of the United States, which is what the Attorney General of the United States is supposed to do. He's supposed to represent all of us. He instead decided to use the Attorney General's perch as an opportunity to be Donald Trump's defense attorney in the Mueller investigation, which clearly showed that Donald Trump's MO is to obstruct any investigation into Donald Trump. Now, Bill Barr knows this, okay? And that's what makes it so, you know, vomit-inducing, gut-wrenching. I don't know what you want to say, but it's shockingly sick and sad that that is what we have to tolerate as Attorney General of the United States of America when you have a Republican president, okay? It's just so sad, and it's so sick that they always think, and Jeff Sessions did too, that they were Donald Trump's personal attorney. And they're not. Uh, Don McGahn, he thought he was Donald Trump's personal attorney. He was the White House counsel. His job was to protect the office of the White House, not the person occupying it. And so many Americans have such a difficult time separating those two things because they won't think for themselves. But anyway, Donald Trump is now. And so this is why I mentioned to you that Aileen Cannon, uh, you know, if she is in charge of the early phase of the trial, it gives a, you know, it gives a chance for Donald Trump to have one less, uh, you know, a, a, bu- a person to bully, one less person to call a gutless pig, which is what he called, uh, you know, he called uh, um, uh, 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 Bill Barr there. He actually, he posted, I don't, I don't know what you call what he does on that stupid little platform that he owns, but he actually posted, quote, turn off Fox News when that gutless pig is on and put it in quotes. This, this, now, Bill Barr is 10 times smarter than Donald Trump because Bill Barr got what Bill Barr came for, okay? Bill Barr wrote some uh, opinion piece that he was, you know, guaranteed would get before Donald Trump's eyeballs, saying how Donald Trump was being railroaded in the Mueller event and he could get him out of it and blah, blah, blah. And Donald Trump actually fell for that bait, took that bait hook, line, and sinker and hired him, replaced Jeff Sessions, who he didn't think was doing enough to protect him, not the United States, but to protect him and put Bill Barr in there knowing Bill Barr would protect him. And Bill Barr did protect him. He did PR for him when the Mueller report first came out. Then he redacted almost all of the Mueller reports so we couldn't even read the freaking thing for months, for months. And now... He's telling it, listen, I know this guy, uh, this guy, uh, you know, uh, pretty much this is his M.O. This is what he does. He obstructs justice, blah, blah, blah. And people are celebrating the fact that Aileen Cannon, who is a sycophant, okay, who doesn't know the lyrics to I Would Do Anything For Love, but I won't do that, 
okay, is willing to risk it all, hoping that Donald Trump wins a second term and something good happens for herself. How sick and sad. That is a swamp, okay? You understand. Bill Barr was part of a swamp. Aileen Cannon making this ruling that Donald Trump needed a special master to delay the whole thing. That is a deep state operative that's been plucked and put in place specifically for the reason of protecting Donald Trump's criming. That's a deep state. Okay? And Bill Barr knows that. And the idea that I have to listen to him now tell me how, oh, he was totally wrong. And, you know, this thing, he's toast. I mean, this is, it's going to put him in jail. He's, it's, I mean, one of the, ca- you know how many years Donald Trump is, is literally facing with all these uh, counts? 420. No, I'm not kidding. 420. If the full uh, sentence, what, if, if the full sentence guidelines, the top of the sentence gui- sentencing guidelines were, 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 were adjudicated, okay, as being punishment, he would be in jail for 420 years. <laughs> now, that never happens, as you know. But we're talking about obstruction like 20 years, okay, uh, the rest of his life. That, that is the truth. And the people who are trying to defend him not Bill Barr, because Bill Barr, his mission is, is accomplished. His mission is concluded. His mission is done. He got exactly what he came for out of Donald Trump. And what he came for was the Supreme Court. He is, after all, the attorney general. Okay, He is a highfalutin lawyer with a very specific agenda. And that's what Bill Barr came to get, and he got it. He got it from Donald Trump. And now Donald Trump is trying to take credit for this very unpopular idea of taking away the right to uh, a woman to make her own reproductive decisions, a right to, uh, you know, actually uh, early, early take a, a pill. Like five minutes after you uh, get a positive on the pregnancy test to take a pill. No, can't do that, can't have that. We need more white babies is what it is. You know, it's very, and also God told me, God did not tell you that. Abortion is in the Bible in a myriad of ways. They just got so used to telling the lie that it became part of who they were. And his entire mission was to pack the Supreme Court with sycophants who believe that somewhere in the Bible, uh, you know, women are to be treated as, uh, you know, second-class citizens. And that the Bible is somehow the document that America governs under. Like, oh, I don't know, Sharia law? But the American version? No. We don't have a uh, institutionalized religious body in the United States. We don't have a state church. There's a reason for that. Okay. But they see like all this opportunity in taking tax dollars and putting them into Catholic schools. I mean, that that's what happened in Oklahoma. I keep on referring to that. I, I hope that everybody's very hip to what, do you know the, the name of the Catholic school that is going to be the first one to get tax dollars? It's St. Isidore, the patron saint of the internet. <laughs> Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.